at least this guy understands what his taillights did to his A7. It was rear axle day the other day. We've got a very satisfying collection of old parts here. Very thorough. All the old brakes. We've got the old struts blown, unsurprisingly. H-arms and wear and tear on these inner bushings in the front, as most M5s do. All four rear upper arms. And a bunch of driveline components as well. Differential bushings, exhaust mounts, wheel speed sensors falling apart. Old shifter cup and shifter. Of course, all the carrier bushings. Fender liner, ball joints. Gonna look at this new stuff. Nice and pretty now. UUC hoses, cleaner subframe, CV joint, center support bearing, flex disc, unicorn egg there in the front. Fresh mounts, corrected the installation here. A lot of people do this wrong. They put the chassis braces up on top of the center exhaust brace. That is wrong. Clean transmission, fresh fluid, transformational. Busted here. Got some broken tabs. And they were quite loose in there. There we go. This looks like a slammed, uh, what, Karma Rivero, previously known as the Fisker Karma. That says Karma on the back. It did it, 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 right? That's a Fisker Karma. It's one of the most beautiful EVs to ever exist, and it's like 15 years old. And it says Rivero on the side. I love that thing. I mean, when they were new back in like 2013 or 14, something like that, uh, my dad and I went to the Fisker dealer in San Diego, which is like Hotel Circle, Mission Valley, on uh, the south side of 8. And I remember thinking, this is an equally as nice interior as the F06 M6, which was a wonderful interior in terms of build quality materials. Everything was amazing. And then Sandy destroyed all their inventory and they went out of business and then they turned into Karma and now they make something, they make an SUV Ocean maybe? There's a dealership in Orange County I've been to, but not during open hours so I didn't get to go inside. Anyways, happy Friday. The week is over. Today was, today was kind of a long one. There were a lot of things going on similar to yesterday. I had three appointments that I had purposely staggered that all showed up at the same time. So I got to juggle that, but got everything taken care of. We spent some time up on the roof today. The landlord was by looking at the uh, drainage on the roof and a roofer was there. So it sounds like they're gonna lower the drainage ports on the wall, uh, which will hopefully mean we no longer have three inches of standing water on the roof after every time it rains, which recently has been quite a lot. Uh, today was a weird one, on and off rain and it rained really hard and then the sun comes out, you open the doors back up and then it rains really hard again for 20 minutes. So I'm definitely over that. Tomorrow's an FOC meeting at 10.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go over to that, take care of some business. And then I don't really think anything else is going on. It's also cold today. I had 49 at the shop. Now we're reading 54, which isn't terrible. Um, as the last week or so, Alan's getting a lot more done on the Anthracite 2000 project. Kidney grills, pork chops, bumper grill today, fog lights, cam sensors, in addition to probably a bunch of other jobs. We've got the M5 cleaned up. Uh, just pollen. I, I kind of got the flat surfaces yesterday because it got sprinkled on and then today I took care of the rest of it. A little bit of shop cleanup, a bunch more estimates. Carlos was in today. Just just a crazy day. I get there and it takes me like four hours to eat lunch because I work through it. I'll take a bite, run around for 10 minutes, come back, take another bite. It's a really slow process. So I'm looking forward to a sit down dinner, the usual naughty on Friday here, and then getting to bed. And all of these days are the same. I apologize for being bland, but that is life now. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday.